Hi everyone, we're back with another video and today's is very exciting. This is a new Lowland Kids pattern. It's a reversible swimsuit. I actually used Double Rush Poly for this because I've never really sewn with swim, but hey, I figured it's cute enough to just test it out and I've actually had my daughter swim in a, a like Double Rush Poly Leo before, so no harm, no foul here. Um, definitely a very cute pattern, super easy. And I can't wait to show you all. I will definitely include the link to where you can purchase this pattern down below. And without any further ado, let's get started. So to start, here are the pattern pieces. We have our bottoms here, which actually come with the front and back all in one piece, which makes it super easy to cut out. So you'll need um, two pieces of this cut on the fold. And if you're doing different fabrics, you'll do one in, of each. But if you're doing the same fabric, then you'll have your two pieces of those. And then we have our front piece. Again, you have one um, cut on the fold if you're doing two different fabrics. If you're doing the same fabric, you will have two of these cut on the fold of the same. And for the back piece, we actually need to cut two opposites, like it says here. And all you do, or at least what I like to do, is just fold my fabric and then cut all the way around. And you have two opposites. And again, one set of each fabric that you have, or two sets if you're using the same fabric. Now let me show you all my pieces. I already have them cut out. So here is, like I said, the big piece. It's all combined already. And a tip that I like to do for this pattern is cut a little notch in the back so you can differentiate your back once we get into the sewing. There's some tricky bits, and that'll help you out. And then again, here we have our two fronts, and then two sets of the ties for each of my fabrics. Again, if you're using all the same fabric, then you'll have this many pieces, but all of one fabric. So now let's get on to the sewing. First things first is we're going to place these two right sides together. We're starting with the bottoms here. And once they are placed right sides together, we're just going to sew all along the leg hole on both sides, and then we'll come back. So for this next part, I moved on to the floor so y'all can see a little better. But here is everything. This is the back. Remember we did our little notches in the back? It just means little triangles. And all we're going to do is go inside and flip it right side out. I'm flipping it, I'm flipping it. And this is what we'll have. Just this, you know, little long piece. Next what you're going to do is fold it in half like this. And then it's easy uh, if you have two different fabrics, but all you're going to do is grab the two fabrics that are right sides together and then move along here and that's where you're going to sew. And just keep moving your fingers all the way down and putting the fabric right sides together. So like this. And then once you moved all the way down, it's just, it's just going to be one continuous Thing like this and the other side should straighten out as well and you will sew along both sides so both of these sides is what we're going to sew together and then we'll move on to the next part <laughs> sorry for the weird view I don't have my tripod anymore so I'm trying to balance y'all on this whole pile of boxes just to get a good view okay so anyways next is the tricky part so pay attention oh my gosh I really don't want to lose anyone but I might lose some people on this next part so all you're going to do is flash your flash your <laughs> your fabric so you want to see the right side so you see how i've created this little loop like this just flash your fabrics and make a note of which is the back this is the back then we're going to flash our other fabrics and again make a note of which is the back it's this one now because we have our two backs we're going to join those together so take your little notches join them together like this and then what you're going to do is start sewing along here now I like the notches because it allows me to put the gap straight in the back you know like center back but all you're going to do is start sewing and sewing and then as you're going along you're gonna have to pull the fabric from inside itself like everything that's in here you're gonna have to pull it out and just keep sewing so here I go, pretend I'm sewing, and then I'm just, I just keep pulling it out, and I keep sewing, you feel me? 
and keep pulling more out and just going all the way around and then eventually you're going to meet the back notches again sorry I came out of eventually you're going to meet these back notches again and then you're going to stop now it says in the pattern to leave like a one and a half inch gap I think that's too much I leave like literally just a half inch gap the smaller the gap the better it is for us in the end and then I'll be back once I get to this point if I lost anybody you can actually play this back in a slower speed there's like a little settings button you can play it back in a slower speed or just rewatch it but I I don't know how else to explain it so there's that and then I'll be back okay I'm back it all got uh, sewn up and again I like to leave just a half inch gap because this fabric is stretchy anyway so all you have to do is pull now from inside so get a little bit like a starting point and then start pulling all the fabric from inside and you're essentially turning it right side out through this little gap that we left so I'm just pulling it out pulling it out and then all that's left after this part is to what's it called um so it closed pretty much so we're almost done and then we'll move on to the top so let me just get this out um you can leave a bigger gap too but you know like i mentioned i just want to have the tiniest hole to close up as possible especially since i don't like hand stitching we're not going to be hand stitching today but you know i'll show you later on. Okay, let me move on. <laughs> so here's what they're looking like, and all that's left to do is close this little gap. Like I mentioned, I like leaving the smallest one so that it's not as much trouble. I mean, it's not troublesome at all, but if you want to do it the hand stitching way, then look up the ladder stitch, invisible stitch on YouTube. There's plenty of videos, so I don't really feel the need to explain it. You just grab a needle and you like kind of zigzag it in there. But what I'm going to do is just use my sewing machine close it up with a little gap um, just a little zigzag here to close it again it's like the smallest gap so it's it won't really matter at the end of the day so I'll do that and then um, I'll show that at the end actually let's move on to the top so for the top you're just going to layer pieces like this with the ties um, towards the middle like that and then you're going to take your front piece and match it up with the shoulders like this and you're just going to sew them together I always want to say show I'm going to sew them together and same thing with the blue or you know whatever fabrics you're using you can actually lay the, the front part down if you want but you want to make sure that your ties are going in the middle like this so i'm going to sew both of these and then come back all four shoulders okay next you want to open it up and lay everything right sides together so like this and we're actually going to sew the armpits first so let me move it up a little bit so we're going to do a sew right here and right here Okay, next, here is what that looks like. Next, we are actually going to sew everything inside, and we're going to start around here-ish. Just, um, I don't know, pick a, pick a width to go in. I guess that's like three inches in. And then you're going to go so, 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 all around, all around, all around, yada, 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 all around, all around, all around. And again, stop around three inches from the outside. Now, if you're worried about doing these curves on the serger, um, you could actually go like this and then stop it and start again. But I don't think it should be too bad. And once that is done, I'll be back again. So here's what that looks like. Um, I actually just did the curves on the serger all in one go. Um, I just started, stopped, looked at my presser foot and adjust it as I went around, so it was pretty easy. And then, 
Um, again, I just left the gap. So now it's time to turn it all right side out. So what you're going to do is push this inside of itself. And then, you know, try and loop everything right side out. So again, just push. I would start right here and just push it in. I'm going to use a pen. Um, and then, or actually I could use this, you know. Let me see. Again, I don't have a tripod. I'm just going to balance y'all between my knees. Getting up close and personal with y'all. You're literally between my legs. Okay, sorry, that was weird. Um, <laughs> why am I so awkward? So again, I'm just going to take the end, push it in, and just work this whole baby right side out, you know? And we're actually going to go into the shoulder like this. And then I'm going to... Sorry again, you can't see. I'm going to pop it in. I'm between the shoulders now. And the arm, whatever it's called. And I'm trying to get to the other side. Baby. Why is this so hard? This is like the worst angle I've ever done on my YouTube channel. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, just r turn it all right side out. That's all I'm going to say. Just, just do it. There's a one side looks like, again, just take your... Um, the end of one of the straps and push it all the way in to the arm like through this little channel and it, it'll work now we're going to do the same thing that we did once we had our bottoms right side out all we're going to do is fold it in half like this remember we just fold it in half and then we take the pieces i mean the fabrics that are right sides touching so the ones in the middle right sides touching let me see if I can balance y'all on something. Okay, that's somewhat better. Sorry, my shadow's gonna get in the way. You just fold it right sides together like this. And then you take the two fabrics that are touching the same, like this. And again, you just run your fingers through it. This is like the easy method, but if you're a pro, you literally just open it up and sew. So then you're gonna sew all the way down this way. And then keep sewing, sewing, sewing. Sewing, sewing until it meets up on the edge like this, you know? You feel me? You feel me? So then all of this is going to be sewn, this like little side seam. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, I just got done with that and now it should look something like this. Ah, there's a fly literally all up in my business. It's going to look like this. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did again with the swim bottoms. We kind of exposed everything, but now we're going to put everything inside and sew along this bottom section. And we're going to leave a little gap to open it up. You feel me? So all you're going to do is make sure that you're starting in a good spot. And then sew all the way down and leave a tiny gap. Again, you can leave a gap as big as you want, but I just really don't want to have to mess with the gap. and sewing it closed and all that so i just leave the tiniest one that i can which is about six i mean not six six twelfths which is about half an inch here's what that looks like all done and then i have my little gap so we're just gonna pull everything through that gap just like last time and really just pull it all the way out you feel me make sure you get everything that's in there there we go. Whoa. Again, that fly is all up in my business. And then all I'm going to do to close this little gap is kind of just, you know, um, feel however big my surgery um, tail was, my surgery seam. And then I'm just going to zigzag right along here. Again, it's not a big deal, you know. You can use coordinating uh, thread if you want, but I'm just going to use white. And then I'll be back to show you both pieces all finished okay so here is the final product and i did want to show you the little uh sewing parts that i did this is with a straight stitch um i wouldn't really recommend it for um what's it called the stretch fabrics but i tried it anyway a straight stitch and this is with the lightning bolt stitch again this gap was a little smaller so that's what it looks like and again it's not very noticeable so i don't mind doing it with my sewing machine but if you want it to be more invisible 
uh, definitely look up the ladder stitch like I mentioned. Um, but that is everything. If you want to see this on, Lolan does a really cool thing. They do lookbooks for all of their patterns. So I'll go ahead and include a link to that down below so you can see what it looks like on and everything. But for this video, we are done. I'm super happy with how it turned out. And I can't wait to try it on my girl. But that is everything. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Oh, and share with your friends because... <gasps> We're almost to another milestone of subscribers, so please do, and I'll catch you in the next one.